so the first part of on-page optimization that we want to look at is URL optimization. And really, I guess, the, the message here is that search engines treat URLs the way that real humans would. So essentially, you want to make them readable, you want to make them keyword rich, and you want to make them short. So as I said, you want to make them readable. So you want to avoid something like yourdomain.com forward slash p equals one two three neither the search engines or a real human can really understand what your page is, is about if your url is like that what you really want to have is yourdomain.com forward slash you know whatever keyword you're targeting for that particular page you know what you want to avoid is something that's you know you maybe you have your keyword there but you include the full post title in the URL itself, it's just a little bit too long, and plus the um, search engines only will really look at the uh, first three to five words in the URL. Just another thing to avoid as well is make sure that your URLs and the, the words that are in the URLs are separated using hyphens. So as you can see here, keyword hyphen or target hyphen keyword hyphen. That's the format you want. You don't want to have URLs uh, with underscores. I'll show you an example of how you can edit your uh, URL. Um, and I'm just going to do this in the admin panel of a demo WordPress site. Essentially, you're going to be able to make these same changes in whatever website builder you're using. But let's say my title of the article I want to publish here is about URL optimization. And as you can see, by default, it's pulled the URL from the, uh, the post title. So you can see that there's hyphens separating the words, which is great. It's got my keyword at the start of the uh, URL as well, which is perfect. And if I want as well, you know, I can shorten it down if I've quite a long post title just down to the core keyword itself. That makes it a little bit easier, you know, if you're posting it across social networks, want people to link to it, and um, that they won't have to shorten uh, your URL using a tool like Bitly, etc. So that can be a good thing to do as well.